Hello students, today we are going to learn safety and first aid. This is a new lesson that we will be starting. This is chapter number 3 of our textbook. And today we will be dealing with introduction of the lesson and we will be starting with the topic first aid also. This is part number 1 of the chapter. Students, suppose someone eats banana and throws the peel on the road. Is it the right thing to do? That is the first question. And there are chances that a person can unknowingly step onto it and fall. Maybe like this. Can you imagine what will happen if someone falls like this? He might get serious injury also. So what to do in case if someone falls like this? If someone meets with an accident like this, what medical help can we give to such injured person? So today we are going to learn what medical help can we give at our level to an injured or a sick person. Generally, we all know what happens when accident occur. There might be a bone fracture or there might be a minor cut also. There might be bruises also. And what should we do in such cases? We give some instant medical help to that person. This instant medical help is called as first aid. So what is first aid? First aid is a first medical help given to the injured person before doctor arrives. The most important thing while giving first aid is you yourself should stay calm. Okay, calm means you should not panic, you should not get scared, you should be silent and calmly work out the things. Now, let us see how safety is important especially when we are in public places. Safety on the road is more important than ever. Why? Because of the rapid increase in number of vehicles. So more the vehicles will increase, more will be the chances of accidents. So you have to be very careful. And how we should be careful? By reading and following road signs. They are meant for our safety. Always follow safety rules on the road and also at home. Now, let us see what first aid can we give in case of minor cuts and scratches. First of all, do not neglect any wound, no matter how minor it seems. Germs can enter a body through such uncovered cuts or wounds and they can cause infection. So, for that sake, you have to wash your hands before giving first aid as germs from dirty hands may infect the wound. So, while giving first aid, you should wash your hands first. Then what should we do? We have to wash all the dirt around the wound of the injured person. Clean the affected area with a cotton wool soaked in an antiseptic lotion, maybe a Dettol or Sevalon. Whichever antiseptic lotion you have, you have to soak the cotton wool in it and clean the affected area. Then place a thick pad of cotton wool or a sterile gauge on the wound and press it with your thumb and finger. This stops the bleeding. So you have to press that cotton wool onto the bleeding part. Secondly, a tourniquet can be very helpful in such cases. Now, what is tourniquet? This is a bandage tightly tied over a wound to stop bleeding. I repeat, what is tourniquet? It is a bandage tightly tied over a wound to stop bleeding. This is a diagram of a tourniquet. So, you have to have some cloth with you and a stick with you. Okay, then you have to tie it in this way over here and why do we do it why do we use tourniquet wrap a sterile gauge bandage around the wounded area because 
why do we use tourniquet to stop the bleeding that is the main purpose of using a tourniquet and for making a tourniquet you have to use a sterile gauge bandage around the wounded area well that was all for today let us see few things that you can try out at home so you can answer these questions dash is the first medical help given to an injured person this is fill in the blanks okay the second question is always follow dash on the road and at the home i repeat the questions dash is the first medical help given to an injured person second always follow dash on the road and at the home let us see next question what is the first aid given in case of minor cuts and scratches so you have to find the answer and what is the question what is the first aid given in case of minor cuts and scratches and how can we avoid accident this is a third question how can we avoid accident and last but not the least what is tourniquet this we have already studied just now okay i think this will be easy to answer because we have already studied all the topics related to this question but still if you have any doubts you can any time ask me you can put your queries or questions in comment box okay so that was all for today thanks for seeing this session see you in the next video until then take care bye bye